Welcome to my channel Swiftland. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use error provider control, how to validate text box using error provider control in BB.NET Windows Palm application. If you don't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. Okay, this is my palm. Now, just add a level control. Text box validation using error provider control in BB.NET. This tutorial I will show um, how to use error provider control in BB.NET and uh, how to validate text box using error provider control. I mean, password and confirm password checked uh, with error provider control. Okay, now add a text box and uh, the label control this label will define the text box uh, the text is uh, input number okay change the size font size 40 okay uh, change the font size of the text box it's also 40 okay now add a pattern control I'll use the button to check the uh, whether the text is a number or string okay change the text to check and uh, back color is dark green okay now go to the button click event oh one more thing add error provider control the name of this error provider control is error provider 1 okay this is the button click event now if is numeric is numeric is used or that the text is number or is string to check the uh, text is number is, is, is numeric text is one dot text i mean the text of this text is one is number if is numeric then uh, a server error provider one dot set error text box one is blank i mean if it's numeric I mean number then it's uh, is the nothing and uh, fails will display uh, text box one beside of text box one text box one uh, the, it will display the uh, message in error provider control is uh, message is uh, it's uh, allowed number only okay now it's done just uh, uh, check okay let's test yes Put a, a number or a string, and then you just click on a check. Then you can this message uh, as the this is a string, and uh, that's why it's displayed the error provider control. Now 25 is number, and if uh, when you click check, it will uh, display nothing. I mean, it's a hide the error provider control. It's displaying the error provider based on the text of this uh, uh, text box control. Okay. Now if not numeric uh, then uh, change the text of this level input string I mean if you uh, put a string then it will uh, not display the error provider and if you put number then it will display the masses error masses in error provider control uh, masses is uh, it's allowed string only Okay, now let's test. Two double three. This is number. That's why it's allowed string and uh, it's, uh, display the error provider control. And if you put a string, then it will display nothing. I mean, it will it's a uh, hide the error provider control. Okay. Now, just uh, cut uh, this code and. Uh, Remove the button click event and the button as well. Now I'm gonna put this code in the text box state change event instead of uh, button click event so that I can uh, get the result instantly. So it will sting a uh, three put this is sting, that's why uh, it's display nothing. But when you put number, and then it, uh, it's displaying the error footer control with the text, is, uh, it's allowed sting only. Okay. 
now I'm going to show how to validate password I mean how to uh, compare uh, using error protocol control with the two text box password and confirm password the first text box is to use password and second text box is to use uh, confirm password the error provider control will display when the password and confirm password will not match with each other. In that case, go to the text change event and remove the, te and the text change event for the text box 1 and uh, uh, go to the text change event of the text box 2. And just uh, uh, put this code in the text box text change event. Uh, uh, the code is if text box 1 dot text not equal black and text box one dot text equal to text box two dot text i mean if the text of text box one and text box two that means uh, the password and confirm password is equal then it will display uh, the uh, it will display nothing i mean error provider will display nothing it's not displaying anything i mean at uh, the side of text box uh, error provider will be blank and if not matched with the password and confirm password, then it will display uh, the error provider control uh, beside of text box 2, I mean confirm password. And uh, the message of uh, error provider control is uh, password and confirm password does not match. Okay, it's done. Now let's test. Yes, uh, this full password. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 2, 3, it's still not matched with the tag box 1, I mean password, and it's matched with the uh, tag box 1, I mean password, then it's a uh, display nothing, I mean uh, it's a hide the error for the control.